Hey everyone, I just gotta share this crazy story that happened to me a while back. I still get chills just thinking about it. So I was on this road trip, right? Needed a place to crash for the night, so I found this hotel that looked decent enough. Little did I know, I was about to step into a real-life horror movie. When I walked into the lobby, everything seemed normal. Just your typical hotel reception area, nothing too fancy. The guy at the front desk gave me my key and sent me off to my room. Now, let me tell you, this place had that old, musty smell that you only find in places that have seen better days. Anyway, I get to my room, and it's nothing special. Just a bed, a TV, you know the drill. But as soon as I stepped inside, I felt this weird vibe, like I was being watched or something. I brushed it off, thinking I was just tired from the drive. But then things started getting really freaky. I'd hear these strange noises in the middle of the night, like footsteps echoing down the hallway when there was nobody there. And sometimes, I'd wake up to find the TV turned on, playing static at full blast. I swear I didn't touch the remote, but the scariest part happened one night when I woke up to use the bathroom. As I was stumbling my way through the dark, I saw something out of the corner of my eye. At first, I thought it was just my reflection in the mirror. When I looked closer, I saw this shadowy figure standing behind me. I froze, my heart pounding in my chest. I wanted to scream, but no sound would come out. And then, just like that, the figure vanished into thin air. I bolted back to my room and locked the door, praying that whatever I saw wouldn't come back. The next morning, I couldn't get out of that place fast enough. I told the guy at the front desk about what happened, but he just shrugged it off like it was no big deal. But I know what I saw, and I'll never forget it. So yeah, that's my story. I don't know if it was just my imagination playing tricks on me, or if that hotel is actually haunted. But either way, I'm never going back there again. And if you ever find yourself in need of a place to stay, do yourself a favor, and steer clear of that creepy hotel. Trust me, you'll thank me later. I was on a business trip, right? Needed a place to crash for the night, so I booked into this hotel that seemed all right at first glance. Boy, was I wrong. I checked into my room and everything seemed normal. It was your typical hotel room, nothing fancy, but it had a bed and a bathroom, so I wasn't complaining. But as the night wore on, things started to get real weird. I kept hearing these strange noises coming from the room next door. At first, I thought maybe it was just the people next door being loud or something. But then I started to hear arguing. It sounded like two guys were having a heated argument. And it was getting pretty intense. I debated calling the front desk to complain, but then things got even worse. I heard a scream, a blood-curdling scream that sent shivers down my spine. I froze in fear, not knowing what to do. I wanted to call the cops, but I was too scared to even move. Then, just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, I heard a loud thud followed by complete silence. I knew something was seriously wrong, so I mustered up the courage to peek out into the hallway. That's when I saw it. There were two guys standing outside the room next door, and between them was a woman lying motionless on the ground. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. It looked like they had just killed her right there in the hotel hallway. I wanted to run, to get as far away from there as possible, but I was frozen in place, unable to move. The two guys looked around nervously before dragging the woman's body back into their room and slamming the door shut behind them. I knew I had to do something, so I called the cops and told them what I had seen. By the time they arrived, the two guys were long gone, and the poor woman was dead. It was the most terrifying thing I've ever witnessed, and it still haunts me to this day. So yeah, that's my story. I don't know what those guys were up to, or why they killed that woman, but I'll never forget what I saw that night. And if you ever find yourself in a sketchy hotel, just remember to trust your gut and get out of there as fast as you can. Believe me, you don't want to stick around for something like that.
like something straight out of a nightmare, and I can't shake the feeling that I'll never have all the answers. So let me tell you about the time I stayed at this hotel and witnessed something I can't explain. It all started when I checked into this hotel with my two kids. We were on a little vacation, just looking to have some fun and relax. The hotel seemed nice enough, nothing too fancy but clean and cozy. We settled into our room, and everything seemed normal at first. But then things started to get weird. I kept noticing strange things happening around the hotel. Like I'd see people wandering the halls in the middle of the night. But when I looked again, they were gone. And there was this weird feeling in the air, like something wasn't right. One night, I woke up to use the bathroom, and when I came back to bed, I saw something out of the corner of my eye. It was like a shadow moving in the darkness, but when I turned to look, there was nothing there. I brushed it off as my imagination, but I couldn't shake the feeling that we weren't alone in that hotel. Then, things took a turn for the worse. One morning, I woke up to find that my kids were gone. At first, I thought maybe they had just wandered off somewhere in the hotel, but when I couldn't find them anywhere, panic started to set in. I searched every inch of that hotel, but there was no sign of them anywhere. It was like they had just vanished into thin air. I called the police, and they launched a massive search, but they never found a trace of my kids. To this day, I still don't know what happened to them. It's like they were swallowed up by that hotel, never to be seen again. And I can't shake the feeling that whatever was lurking in the shadows had something to do with their disappearance. So, if you ever find yourself staying at a hotel that gives you the creeps, trust your instincts and get out of there as fast as you can. Because you never know what horrors might be lurking just out of sight, waiting to snatch you away without a trace. It's like something out of a horror movie, and I can't shake the feeling that what I saw was real. So, let me take you back to that night when I stayed at this hotel and experienced something I'll never forget. I checked into the hotel, excited for a weekend getaway. The lobby was bustling with people, and everything seemed normal. But as soon as I stepped into my room, I felt this chill run down my spine. It was like the air was heavy with something I couldn't quite put my finger on. As the night wore on, strange things started happening. I'd hear whispers in the darkness, voices that seemed to come from nowhere, and sometimes I'd catch glimpses of shadows moving out of the corner of my eye. But when I turned to look, there was nothing there. But the scariest part came later that night. I woke up to the sound of footsteps echoing down the hallway. At first I thought it was just another guest, but then I saw him. Standing at the end of the hallway was a figure shrouded in darkness, his eyes burning with a fierce intensity. I couldn't move, couldn't even scream as the figure started to move towards me. And then, just as suddenly as he appeared, he vanished into thin air. I was left shaking in fear, wondering if what I saw was real or just a trick of my imagination. But things only got worse from there. The next night, I woke up to find myself face to face with the vengeful spirit of a man who had been murdered in the hotel 20 years ago. He was pale and translucent, his eyes filled with a burning hatred that chilled me to the bone. I knew then that he had come back to seek revenge on whoever had wronged him all those years ago. And I couldn't shake the feeling that I was somehow caught in the middle of his twisted plan. I tried to leave the hotel, to get as far away from that vengeful spirit as possible. But no matter where I went, he was always there, watching, waiting for his moment to strike. In the end, I managed to escape the hotel, but the memory of that vengeful spirit still haunts me to this day. And I can't help but wonder if he's still out there, lurking in the shadows, waiting for his next victim. So. If you ever find yourself staying at a hotel with a dark past, beware. 
because you never know what restless spirits might be lurking just out of sight, waiting to exact their revenge on anyone who dares to cross their path.